What's up everyone? I'm David Mays and welcome back to Amazing Life. Thanks for watching. So unless you have been under a rock or you're new to camping and overlanding, you're probably familiar with the company Timbo Tusk. They make the very well-known Scottle. Uh, it's a fantastic device, but what you may not know is they've also come out with a fire pit. Now I've had this one for several months now and I'd like to finally share my thoughts about it. So let's get started. So propane fire pits have become more and more popular uh, due to the kind of the almost constant fire bans that we end up getting in the summer months. Uh, and they're, they're lasting further into the fall, especially out west, uh, than they used to. As a result, we can't have the typical campfire that we all love, so it becomes more and more important to have some type of a legal source of uh, legal fire source uh, that doesn't take up a ton of room in your Jeep or other vehicle uh, in order to make full enjoyment of our camping time. So if, you, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you also know that I do my best to source US made equipment. Uh, from the hatchet camper that I use for camping to my Atlas 46 tool roll, as much as possible, I try to get US made products. I'm happy to say that this one is actually made in the USA. It's actually stamped on the side of the fire pit. So there are a lot of options out there now and I kept not buying one because they were just all too big. And I don't have a truck bed or a trailer anymore. Sold that, happy about it. But as a result, everything I get has to go inside the Jeep. And so size matters at this point. And in this case, bigger is not better. So the smaller something packs down, especially if it's not constantly used. And let's be honest, like a lot of times I don't use this fire pit and I may not use anything, right? If there is an existing camp ring, then I'll probably just use real fire uh, and, and use that. Most of you have probably seen the solo stove. You know, it's big, it's round, and it does get fire going easily because of the way it's kind of made. But the downside is it seems to send all the heat straight up and it doesn't really warm you out. But the other issue is, is it uses legitimate wood, which is good, but it also can suffer from fire bans as well. And so just like my pop-up um, pit that I've got, I went with the pop-up fire pit specifically due to its ability to fold up small and I ended up stacking it vertically inside the Jeep against the seat and it's strapped in so it doesn't really take up much room at all. And so I typically carry it and this both. Now, I really wanted something that I could use when propane pits are our only option. And one device I was curious about was the ammo can fire pit. Now it's made by Lava Box, um, but the size is reasonably small. It depends on which size you get, um, but it does provide decent heat for those surrounding it. But the fire is limited to a smaller area because it's down inside the box. And therefore the heat is generally transmitted kind of up versus out. Now I do like the way it locks up in a tiny little tidy box. Uh, and as a result, it is quicker to deploy than the, than the Timbo pit. But that's my thoughts on those other options um, that I have utilized. If you've got more options that you, you're aware of for propane fire pits that kind of pack up like that, leave in the comments below. I'm very curious about it and see what you think about it. Now let's talk about the Timbo Tusk. Now, full disclosure, I did not pay for this. It was sent to me, um, but on that note, I was also not required to do a video at all. Uh, I am doing this video. They don't even know I'm doing the video and they have no idea whether I'm going to say anything positive or not. So from that perspective, it's about as without prejudice as you can get it. Okay. Now the primary concern I had uh, was space. And I have to say the way I pack my Jeep, the Timbo Tusk fire pit is the smallest and best packing option for me. Now, unlike the ammo can, it breaks down thin and it goes into this really rugged canvas bag and it's going to protect it from rubbing on other things that are in the Jeep, eliminating that potential cause for damage during travel. I like everything wrapped in some type of a canvas bag or some sort of a bag because it just keeps everything quiet. Everything you need comes in the bag from the, from the regulator hose um, to the little lava rocks that you get and the lava rocks even come with a bag. 
and the setup is quick. And as a result, you don't mind breaking it out even if you know you're only gonna use it for an hour or so. And I've found that like the more things, the longer things take to set up, the less I'm likely to use it. If it's hard to get to, if it's hard to access, if it takes a while to set up, I just won't do it. And the reality is it has to be fast to deploy and fast to put away. I mean, I'm, we're out here to enjoy the scenery, not spend time setting up camp. And so I'll show you at the end of this video in real time how long it takes to set up uh, and, and what it looks like setting up the fire pit. So stay to the end if you want to watch that. So once you have the pit set up, another thing that made me very happy is literally no heat goes underneath. I can literally place my hand underneath the pit while it's full blast running and you feel nothing. There's no heat that hits the ground. That's pretty cool. Now I do have to say that you gotta be careful putting it in tall grass because it can go through the, you know, the grass can go through the holes and of course could ignite and that's gonna create the very thing we're trying to avoid. So the flame on it is very adjustable. Uh, the regulator hose on it, I believe it is a high pressure. I know Jason and I have had this conversation. I th think he's got a low pressure on his van and it also runs perfectly fine on low pressure because that's actually where I got to first enjoy the Timbo Tusk was um, Jason from Primal Outdoors has one. Either way, it works because he's got it on low and I believe this is a high pressure. What I typically set mine at, I'll set it to just to where it, it operates without the danger of going out. And that way you get a nice looking flame, but then also you're not just blowing through your propane. And speaking of propane use, so I have used about four hours. Um, so I use the Ignite. Um, yes, I got a black one, which I just think is way cooler than that white and orange option that they use. So this one's black. Um, but I'd say it's, it's probably still got about half of it uh, left and I've used about four to f maybe a little over four hours worth uh, with this uh, and then I've also run my stove I don't know how many meals and so that's pretty that's pretty good uh, I, I think that's reasonable if you own the ammo can stove put in your comments like how long you how much time do you get on like typical as you use it and how well does it heat um, like if you've got three or four people around, how does that work? I don't see this as being like a five or six people um, fire pit. It's just not, it's a, it's a tiny little, uh, the, the whole stove is like this long, right? Um, and so it's, I would fit it in that same ammo can use size. So they're probably, they probably both work for about the same number of people. I would say two to three people is kind of what you're looking at. When I first saw the lava stones, I kind of thought, you know, really, the kind of a gimmick, but I really think they do help. So, because what happens is if you're just using the flame, if you just have a flame, then the only heat that you're getting is the heat from that flame. And so if the flame heats up the stones, it starts to radiate that heat from the stones as well as the flame. And I think that allows you to have a little bit more efficient use of your heat. Um, so I did find these useful because I have used it both ways and I, I have since just started using them all the time. And the nice thing is they come in this little bag and so you just dump them all in there. It gets dirty in there, but like who really cares? Uh, because there is some char, you can see the, um, it comes off. Uh, and so, and, and that actually comes off on like all of it, but it's all stainless steel. So literally I just wipe it down with, um, you know, with a paper towel and just knock the major part off and then the rest of it I just don't worry about. So the inside of the bag, over time it'll get dirty. Who cares? That's kind of my thought. The outside stays clean, inside gets dirty, I don't care. I do also have to say, in, in addition to the stones, um, they have this little, this little, let's see. You see that? Yeah, little, little fake fire um, deals. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, it, it for the ambiance, it does work. And, and I don't know why it works, but it, it, I guess it divides, it forces the flame to divide. And so, uh, and then when you start putting your rocks in there, it does kind of, it works, okay? Um, I kind of thought it was kind of gimmicky uh, as well, but it really, <laughs> even even me saying it, I still think it's, it's gimmicky, but it actually does help. So uh, if, if you get one, say, see for yourself, uh, when you use them, it does look better. The fire looks better. I mean, I, I like a fire even when it's hot, right? 
when it's hot outside, I still like to have a fire, but I hate to have a real fire because you can't exactly turn those off, right? But it's neat to be able to have just a little fire. Let's be honest, you sit there, you're in your chair, you're having your favorite drink, and you're just gazing into an ever-changing flame. And I love that. To me, that's like part of camping. That's my thought on the Timbo Tusk. Uh, I think it's fantastic. So here's the question. So the setup is easy. The packup is small. Um, the heat is, or the fire is pretty sufficient. The heat is actually decent. And cleanup is easy. So what's the negative? Uh, it'd be price. Um, it's a little on the high side, but then not really anymore. So it was on the high side, uh, but comparative, comparing apples to apples. So the ammo can, in, in comparison, the ammo can comes in on the minimum at like $175. And I don't remember what size ammo can it is. It's a smaller one uh, as far as the ammo that we typically, it's the ones that we typically put 5.56 ammo in. Um, but that can size is like 175, but then now they've got bigger ones that go up to, I think the mortar round um, type uh, ammo cans. And those are running in the 350 range, I think, 375, some, three, yeah, 375, somewhere in there. And so if you look at it from that perspective, they have a range of products, so they have different options. There's just one here and it's kind of sitting somewhere on the high side, but in the, you know, in that range um, of the ammo can option. And again, there's probably some other ones out there that I'm not thinking about. That's just the only one that I was personally looking at. I was looking at the ammo can and then I found the Timbo Tusk. For me, if you go out west a lot, uh, you're gonna want some sort of a fire pit. And honestly, most of the fire pits out there are just massive. And so it just wasn't an option for me in the Jeep. So the way this thing packs up into this bag, everything comes with it that you need. Uh, it seems to be pretty conservative on its propane use, which is also a big deal because I'm not carrying a 25 pound, so I don't have that luxury either. Uh, for me, it works out the best. I think that's about it. So uh, I hope this has been useful to you. Um, if, you're, if you're looking at getting one uh, for yourself, uh, hopefully this will give you some ideas on kind of its use. Again, stay tuned um, to the end and I'll show you a real time uh, footage of me setting it up from start to, to, to finish. Uh, and so that'll kind of give you an idea of what it would be like if it were in your own Jeep. Hope this has been helpful. I'm out of here. Again, as always, make life amazing.